Reverend Diane Salter, an ordained deacon in the United Methodist Church, created a DVD and guidebook about intentional hospitality. Thank you for coming, Diane. Thank you for inviting me, Brittany. It's a pleasure to be here. What prompted you to start thinking about hospitality in the church? It was something that I grew up with. I saw my mother, my dad, uh, do it as a natural way of life. And then I saw that in the churches, it's a little more difficult for it to happen. And so I just really felt God nudging me and saying, this is a message that, that needs to get out. And um, I said, well, okay, I'm willing. <laughs> so that's how it started. In the DVD, you go beyond just the cookies and the coffee. Um, how would you describe intentional hospitality in the church? I think intentional hospitality seeking the heart of God. God really loves and wants a relationship with every person ever created. And God uses us, the likes of us, <laughs> to help in that. And, and churches um, need to be individuals collectively together doing that purposefully, having a plan. This is how we're going to do this because it's so important. And there's so many people that are afraid to come through our church doors. In fact, they won't come unless they're invited and they certainly aren't going to stay unless they feel welcomed into the presence of God. And so um, I just think we have a lot of work to do and I'm thankful that I want to help do it. <laughs> what are some ways that God has shown hospitality in the scriptures? Well, one of my very favorite is the story of Abraham uh, where he was sitting in the heat of the day and the strangers came. And it was in the time when he ran to meet the strangers, extended all this wonderful, gracious hospitality to them. It was in that moment that those strangers were God and spoke the word of the Lord to them and said they were going to have the son that they had longed for all of their life. And so it is, as we reach out and do what God wants us to do, God speaks to us. And it's often through strangers in ways that we were anticipating. What are some simple ways that you think we as a church can reach out to those strangers? Well, most of all, I think we have to have the congregation become aware that this is something God wants, that God wants to use us as individuals to help. We're, we're the conduit, the channel. Mm -hmm. And um, I think to, to get that message to the congregation that we need to do this together, otherwise the church isn't doing it. One person can't do hospitality in a church. They can make a difference, but they can't do it. So certainly uh, smiling, welcoming, inviting people to sit with you, mm -hmm. um, just reaching out in great ways, having provisions for all kinds of ages and stages of life from newborns to elderly folks, um, including folks that wouldn't normally come, ethnic groups, poor folks, in our invitation and, and being part of there. All of those are small little movements toward becoming the people of God. But welcoming at the door, uh, having people greet intentionally, having a little welcome center, just warm aspects of individuals that throughout the church in different places that we're just gonna say, good morning, it's good to have you here. My name's Diane. Mm -hmm. uh, and we get, have to get beyond saying good morning right? in order to be hospitable. Whenever we were speaking earlier, um, we said that it does go beyond the coffee and the cookies, but that food um, can help. Um, you just said it has to go beyond good morning. How do you think that food can help in that way? Well, I believe that being at the table is something that God has always done. First of all, God has always been a provider of food from the manna in the wilderness and you know, in the garden there was food provided and, and when the it, um, people were leaving Egypt, God was providing food. God's always been a provider of food for us. And one of the things that makes us equal, absolutely equal, is that all of us need food. 
And so when we sit down to eat with someone, when we break bread with someone, we're on common ground. And the table always needs room for someone else. There's always <laughs> room at the table because hospitality is about belonging. And um, God wants us to have room at the table. And then communion is, is food. And uh, that is the thing that we commune and are connected with our Lord in the breaking of bread. So food is an incredible common aspect of bringing us together as human beings. And I think that is a really neat perspective um, and it really does bring uh, a, more of a sense of belonging whenever you do uh, have a meal with somebody and if they invite you into their own home um, that it's going beyond the church walls that they really do want to form a relationship with you. Um, so I thank you for all of your words of insight. Um, where can people find your DVD? Well, it's not published yet, but there are pilot editions uh, here, and they'll be at annual conference again this year. And new will be a hospitality workshop with a, a workbook that will help a local church have their own hospitality seminar for helping to train uh, hospitality leaders in that. And then this helps educate the congregation because there's 12 lessons and a guidebook with it that gives biblical understanding, um, unwrapping what God's love is and how we can be a channel of that love to other people. Learning to invite, which is something we don't do very often, and uh, sharing our faith, building relationships, reaching out to the poor. They're all God's acts of hospitality. And he uses the likes of us to do it. Yeah. That's so wonderful. And it's also um, <coughs> available at Discovery Place, correct? That's correct. Okay. <clears throat> If you would like to learn how you can um, receive more information on hospitality and this DVD, please check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>